Hi there. Welcome to Discussions with the Fashion Masters. My name is Deanna Hansen, and I have a very special guest today here, Walter Kells. He is one of our community members, and I've asked him to come to share his experience because we are such a women-based community, and this work is for anyone and everyone, and his changes were so impactful that I had to reach out and ask him to come to um, share his experience. So, Thank you so much, Walter, for taking the time out of your day to share with our community your experience with us. It's a pleasure. Pleasure. So I'd love it if you could share with us, first of all, your age, because you look amazing, as well as where you were in your body prior to finding block therapy. Uh, I'm 73. Um, block therapy, I came across in August of last year. My wife introduced me to it. Um, it's the first thing, as soon as I stood on the block the first day, I was hooked because my feet just felt so good. Uh, I'd been in pain for years. Uh, chiropractors would rebuild me, rebuild. It would blow and rebuild, blow. Nothing held. And when I started on this journey, uh, the I could feel things just ripping apart and peeling apart. Uh, and the changes were just phenomenal. But I think I was so very, very stiff and ro and robotic that uh, any crowbar would help. And I found that the block was a great crowbar to, to lever things apart. Um, I like the pain. Uh, it gives me good signals. And it just kept going from there. The biggest thing that I did was when I did, I saw the... Uh, <clears throat> competition you did earlier this year uh, and the people put the, the photographs up um, and when I came back here in October I had a go at it and the changes were within the first week my face changed completely and then the body followed the rest of it um, and it's I do it every day uh, I stand on the block now when I'm cooking and I, if I'm watching rugby which is my big hobby I'll stand on the block for a whole game. You know, That's I'll awesome. do. A, you know, I start on the big one and then I go to the small one. So it's a, it's just the feet get tortured, but the feet releasing has helped everything with the body. I do have I'm to not, say, had you actually participated in our challenge, you would have been the winner. <laughs> <laughs> you you shared these photos a little bit after. I think you did it a couple of months after that. We uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, so so grateful. I've seen some of your other photos uh, before. You're very very fit. Um, I train. I lift weights. I train and I, and I walk, but uh, I lift weights. Not heavy, but I lift weights five days a week. So you do that now, and you're continuing to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my That's escape uh, from my father. My my father is my permanent job, my twenty four hour day job. Okay. My brothers helped me look after him, but I'm his primary care. So that's my, I go an hour in the morning, an hour and a half, turn my phone off and I'm gone. I'm out. That's my escape every day. That's awesome because we have so many people in our community <clears throat> asking about um, continuing on with their exercise. And we always share, you know, it's great if you can give yourself a little break to reset your body before you go back mm -hmm. to doing the weights. Because if you're not conscious of that alignment, you continue to strengthen yourself further out of alignment. But we always want people to do what they love. So I love the fact that you're still doing that and you're feeling so good with the addition of blocking. Yeah, I'm more conscious of the proper alignment when I'm training. Uh, the biggest thing is the rooting where I find the biggest influence. Um, it pulls my body in. Um, it's easier to push the weights. Uh, the weakest part of my body is my hips and lower back. Um, so anything in that area is always very careful and very kind of behind the upper body. Right. Uh, whiplashes and broken bones and stuff like that. Just a lifetime of having fun. Uh, leaves scars. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> you know, accidents to road, accidents to car, accidents to rugby, to concussions, to whiplashes. Uh, whiplashes arrived after about 10 years, 12 years after the accident. Okay. I bent down and couldn't get off the floor. 
Wow. And that was the, that was the start of my chiropractic life. So prior to blocking, um, on a scale from one to 10, what would your general pain level have been sitting at most of the time? Uh, sixes and sevens. And and since you've been blocking, where are you at now? Zero. Every day, zero? Nothing? Yeah, zero. Yeah. Wow. I yeah. really attribute that to the footwork that you're doing. The footwork is incredible. I, uh, that was my hook. I was lucky that the first time that I had the block, it was just a yoga block. But I stood on a hotel in Florida, and when I got off it, it was like, wow. You know, I could feel on the back of my heel, I could just feel stuff peeling away. And there was an instant shoot up the arm or, or up my legs of relief. Wow. So I was that was it. I was hooked from the second I stood on it. So are you, it. are you just standing on it or are you doing um, other work in the feet with uh, with the tools? I do, the- but the primarily I stand when I'm cooking. I'll stand for half an hour. Uh, when there's rugby on, it's 80 minute game and I'll stand on the block for a good 60 minutes. Um, wow. in That's incredible. It's different means. You know, different angles and yeah, working on different parts of the foot. I had had a an issue with my hip a little while back, and it's it's funny how like you know, we're we're driven to want to work often where the pain is. So Mm -hmm. I was working on my hip, and I know better, but I was working on my hip because it felt like that's what it needed. And then I'm like, okay, I got to do the footwork, and that took it away. It's crazy the connections. Mm -hmm. It's like we have these yeah. flat tires, you know, and the flat tire, if we if we don't, you know, pump up the feet and realign them, then everything up the chain succumbs to those anchors and it, it takes away that joint space and all of the joints and really manipulates the back of the body. So you've also done a little bit of work with your dad with this. Yeah, yeah, it's phenomenal. Uh, when I did the uh, that upper body realignment program, I never had looked at fingers and toes. And when you started working between the, the, the space between the fingers and toes, um, I thought, I'm going to try this with the old man. So I went and I got a little big pen, I stuck it between his finger, between his toes, and I could instantly see wrinkles forming. So it just carried on. Um, and within a matter of a week, his feet, his feet had changed completely. One week. Uh, so when you say wrinkles, because he was so swollen, it was like so yeah, puffy, yeah. and then yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, I, he's gone from a size ten slipper to a size eight. In in and, how long? So in one week, you saw a change. Uh, well, from I start on him October twenty five, and I bought him a eight set of eight slippers on Monday or Tuesday of this week. Holy smokes! Uh, on Sunday, I started working on the top of his feet. Uh, particularly his left foot was very, very inflamed on the top. And I thought it was all the bones crushed together. But when I started working with my thumbs between them, I could see the rivers of fluid disappearing. And it was just solid gunk that's almost concrete that warmed up with pressure and and, and release. Um his demeanor has changed completely. His walking is now not a it's a walk, not a shuffle. Um, his appetite is doubled. He's not sleeping as much during the day. He's more alert for, mentally. Uh, it's just a completely different person. And how old is your dad? Hundred two. And and so I mean, a I'm just so incredibly ecstatic to hear this. Um, was that the first? Thing that you started with him with the block, or had you done anything else? Prior? Uh, uh, a year ago, when I first got the blocks, uh, it was October, maybe of twenty-two. Uh, I put him behind his back, just resting in a chair. And when I came back, I've been away for two months, and when I came back, basically we were feeding him by hand. And he was drinking, or I would hold it a glass to him with a straw, and that's how he drank. So I put him on a block, just leaning on his back, 
and was lying on the floor on the block watching him. And he suddenly leaned over with his hand, picked the glass up, took the straw out and started drinking. Within three, four minutes, his breathing changed. His whole, he's going like this with his neck, which is all one solid unit. Um, it just, something freed him up. Um, it stood him up. Uh, it just changed him completely. So I block him every day for half an hour when I go to see, I go to make his dinner like 4.30 in the afternoon. And the first thing I do is plug him in. Uh, and uh, he's never had a complaint. So you started with that last year, and then yeah. just this October you started this October. The footwork. Yeah, because that's when I did the thing myself with the hands and feet. Okay. So I, his right hand was extremely swollen, uh, and that's the first thing I started with. And it was the same; it was instant within minutes of me doing it. Within seconds, actually, when I took my hands or my fingers out of his his finger joints, there was change. And he's he's got his hand up going, and he's he's got he's he's still got a very strong grip, but he couldn't he'd lost the use of his right hand, and it was instantly back again. Yeah, he's on wow. very he's on very very little he's on no drugs to speak of. They're fluid pills, but the fluid pills didn't do much because it takes the excess away. But the stuff that was deep and ingrained there doesn't move. And it wasn't until I started working on his feet on Sunday and you could see when I was pushing with him, my fingers and thumbs, I could see this wave of stuff moving in front of me underneath the skin. <laughs> that is and that is amazing. It's literally, he's gone from a 10 to an 8 shoe in a month, month and a half. And so is is he able to walk? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He gets around on a rollator inside the house. Like a three wheeler thing. When we go anywhere a distance, it's a wheelchair. But he still gets up and he he's independent. He's in the apartment next door to me. He okay. goes to the bathroom on his own. He gets around when we go to dinner, or when he walks to the to me to the kitchen and back again. He's fine. Yeah. Hmm. It's incredible. I I work with a gentleman who um, had a stroke a number of years ago, and I only see him once a month. And I've been working, you know, through his whole body. His right side is paralyzed. He's still able to walk, but he he's very strong with his left side. But he like wings his right leg over and yeah. he, you know, he has to lift his right arm up. So partly because of you, because I saw your post, I decided this one day, which was last week, I'm just going to spend the whole hour working between the toes and the fingers of his paralyzed side. Mm. Honestly, I've never seen anything so wild in my life. So after about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes of me working between the toes, suddenly his right leg starts flying up like this and his right arm starts up here and it's shaking. And so like I, I maintained the grip as he was going through this action. And I said, are you okay? Do you want me to stop? And he's like, and he can't say more than a few words. He's like, no, yes, yes. Like he was so excited. And then we yeah. got to a point where he had this immense anger expression. I'm like, are you okay? Do you want me to stop? And he's like, and he's like, I don't know, for like 10 minutes, his body was just activated on the side, which hasn't moved. And I was just like, I'm doing this every time I go and see you. So it's so exciting. And I just, this is what I love about the community. Like we all are here to learn together and to see the changes and the responses and then be able to, you know, really direct people. So now again, thank you so much because because of that post about your dad, I'm just like telling everybody like you, this has to be your daily practice. If you do nothing else but this in the breath, I believe this will be the most impactful thing you can do for the alignment of your fascia. One of the uh we have a care package that comes in and one of the things I get is I get uh people take me off for 3 hours on a Monday, 3 on a Wednesday. And the, the lady came in on Monday the other week for the first time, and I was busy working on his feet. And I had her start working on her on her hands. And she came in to me the next week, and she said, my rings have fallen off. <laughs> then this week she came in, which was t two weeks. She said, I've had to take all my rings off, because when I work and I pull my gloves off, they go missing. And she has to take a link out of her watch. So it's gone right up a whole chain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I noticed 
playing with my father because it went from his feet all the way up. Uh, he has a hip replacement on his left side. So the left foot tries to hang in. And when I had him on the block today, I was trying to get him to rotate outwards and yeah. he can't twist so far. But on the other side, he really hit the spots and the ridges. I said, that's where you have to find and that's where you have to try and stay near the edge. But he, uh, I work on one foot for half an hour. So he's the block is sitting in the same spot for half an hour. Yeah. He's just running on it. And it is the time and pressure. Yes. It works. So and for those watching, a really easy way you can work the hands is, you know, hold for three minutes. Yeah. You're just gonna, yeah. Three minutes, yeah. three yeah. minutes. This one kills me. <laughs> three minutes yeah. here, three minutes here. And that's yeah. like, I mean, you can yeah. do that sitting watching TV. And then um, I love that you were using a pencil between his toes, yeah. or you can get yeah. a couple of chopsticks and tie them together yeah. and do that yeah. if your fingers are, are you know, not wanting to do the work between the toes. But mm -hmm. yeah, that three minute point between each. Um, it's so simple to do. You can do it while you're watching a TV show, while you're just, yeah. you know, hanging around and um well, so inspiring. I, I just can't even tell you how grateful I am that you were willing to come and share this and that you you've had these responses. It's it's oh yeah, it's been I'm incredible. I had a a fat ball at the, the bottom joint of my small finger, my right finger, uh between the finger and the knuckle, and I couldn't get rid of it. Um and I was busy doing this for a couple of weeks. I was doing it one day and all of a sudden I had this explosion. And the shooting thing of energy went right up my hand and arm and into my shoulder. And I looked down, this fat ball had disappeared. Wow. Yeah. It's Holy. just gone. And I couldn't close. I hadn't been able to close my, that finger for about six, seven, eight years. Now it works just the same as everyone else. I still <laughs> have the knuckles to, to work to get out because the knuckles are out of place. But they'll get there, I guess. Oh, I have no doubt. <laughs> yeah. I can't see how much younger you're going to be in, you know, a month and three months and a year from now. <laughs> we will share your before and after photos because honestly, yeah. like when I saw them, I thought, is this real? I mean, I was, you know, there, there was a moment because it is so profound in 30 days, what you have done to that, be able to your structure. Every day for 30 days. That's what I did. Yeah. I did everything. No matter wherever I can do it, I double block. So when you give me the option of double blocking, that's the video that I take. Yeah. Um, I, and you do a lot of work. But the, the I, I noted shaving, or I looked in the mirror one day, I'd only been doing it for a few days. And I went, wow, something's changed here. And every day it was... There is a change. <laughs> oh, and that's just so exciting and empowering when you can see it in yourself and it's continual. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. But the biggest thing for me is the feet, the feet and the, uh, the shin bone. Uh, because one was being, one's been broken and the other one, all the ligaments were ripped and destroyed. Okay. So there got, there is plenty of pain in there. It, it's excruciating. Yeah. yeah. But, and when I do it, it hurts for about two or three days. Or there's that nagging pain in there for a couple of days. But afterwards, the, the change is, is really amazing. So you don't mind the pain while you're going through it? I like pain. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I played rugby. I right. fell off trees and I played off stuff all my life. You know, sports are extreme sports. Uh, so you you pay a price. But that's part of the entry fee. You're no you know, stranger to the pain. If yeah. you, well, if you don't, if you can't handle the pain, you won't play the sports. So now you you're have... literally taking out all of that damage that you've done over the years and you're pulling it out of your body and you're bringing yeah. your structure back to balance. Yeah, 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 yeah. The upper posture thing I'm on right now, every day I feel much more up straight. You know, it's, a, it's consciously I can feel myself standing straighter. When you're walking around, it's suddenly, I, I thought I was back in the army because it's shoulders back, chest out stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Has this changed your, your emotional well-being? No, I just feel good. As far as that's the, the emotional thing. Yeah. I've had no trauma, no, um, 
sadness, no whatever. It's just being pain free is the biggest emotional thing you can have for me. Knowing that if I, every time I would stand up, I'm always thinking, well, when is it going to grab? When is it going to, you know? There was once I was on a trip and I got up out of bed and I couldn't stand. And I had an hour and a half to get to the airport. So I crawled into the taxi and went to the airport in Fort Lauderdale. And I basically crawled through security. And they weren't going to let me on the plane. Oh, my gosh. But I had to get to Freeport because I knew there's a chiropractor there to help me. Yeah. And when I got there, he wasn't there for the first three weeks. So I would crawl across the floor to a wall. Oh, my gosh. Up. Yeah. Um, he put me back together again. It lasted for a month, six weeks. Then it goes again. Uh, I saw him in August this year. And he looked at me. He says, what have you done? He's going, looking at my body and checking my energy. He says, I can't see anything wrong. Where have you been? Who have you done? He said, you were the last person I saw. It was a year ago. And he could not believe it. Hmm. So I showed him the block and he went back. About an hour, half an hour later, I was showing him stuff. He went back to his house and ordered it. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. He got hooked. Yeah. Cool. First thing he did was lie on his belly. And and, and he said, oh, my God, blood am I going? And he got up and he said, we're going. I said, where are we going? I said, I'm going to to buy this. Holy smokes. He's he's a, a chiropractor or, you know. And he said, I've never had a reaction like this in my life. You know, so it works. <clears throat> wow. Is there any uh, final things you'd like to say to the listeners? You've um, shared so much. So first of all, thank you. And um, for being, you know, vulnerable with your journey. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. No, it, it, it works for me. You know, uh, if you can handle pain, you dictate how much pain you have. That's the biggest thing, yeah? Um, and if you try it and let it grow, you'll get benefits. Awesome. That's about it. That's about right. it. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Walter. Um, I, I really hope that, you know, a lot of men will see this because this this does work. And again, we're such a large community of women and you're truly inspiring and um I just, yeah, I'm so grateful. So thank you. And to all of you who are listening, thank you so much for taking the time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.